never know what happens whenever we get together Feel right a new episode of my song It's time to run on cause it's all about your song <coughs> <clears throat> oh, sorry, here we go. You know, there's something about security guards from the containment division that makes you sort of tick off. Sure, ID cards are important for identification and all, but they're here to protect someone outside of that very door I just entered. And now, a hallway, arbitrarily leading to several doors in my path, but there's one at the very end that I have to go through. After all, I have an appointment with the global directors about certain content I've been uploading in this YouTube channel. But speaking of guards, there's one thing that has been wrapping in my mind lately, and who are the guards that protect the global directors? Secrecy around the global directors is one thing, but the security apparatus surrounding them is a mystery for some, but fortunately, the information out there does indeed exist. You just gotta have to look harder to find it. So let's talk about the Global Directorate's uh, protection detail, and what's so unique about them. The Directorate is a central body that spearheads the RPC authority through collective decision making amongst its members. And because of their responsibility, they become a target by certain groups and individuals within the RPC authority and externally. But given the fact that we're discussing uh, information pertaining to the Directorate, it's going to be difficult to ascertain the necessary information. But fortunately, we can find the information about the Directorate security detail on, well, the website. So, the Directorate security detail is technically an MST element under the aegis of the Mobile Specialized Team Alpha 1. MST Alpha-1 are the elements that safeguard global directors anywhere and at any given time. What's unique about the structure of Alpha-1 is that they're divided respectively based on who they are protecting, each having their own designation and patch. Although, the divisional representatives, the scholar, the commander, and the architect seem to not have any information about their protection detail, which is probably a clerk error, but we'll assume they're being safeguarded by the central elements of MST Alpha-1. The regional representatives, on the other hand, have their own unique protection detail at their disposal, each of which are funded and equipped at the discretion of the respective representative that they're assigned to and invariably are going to be different between one another. That means that one of the nine representatives may be more armed, whilst the other will be less armed, but it's more important to note that all nine elements of the Directorate's protection detail are equipped and presented based on the fundamental principles of the culture that the representative is originally uh, representing, as you'll see in the video later on. Let's start off with MST Alpha-11, codenamed Devil Hand. Devil Hand selects its personnel pooled within NORTHCOM who have shown exceptional prowess in the field and a strategic capacity as to avoid divisional, regional, and political conflict. Manufactured weapons within Northern Command based on the AR platform are used specifically by Devil Hand members for security and black operation purposes. The standard issue rifle for its members is the Heckler & Coke 417, but my request is switched to another AR platform upon approval. The design of the Devil Hand patch utilizes an upside down pentagram and a goat with a skull, which is a reference to North America's cultural history with the devil and the mythos of the Wendigo. Unit composition consists of the following. Bodyguards consisted of 6 personnel, Overwatch 2 personnel, the standard rifle being the HK417, and the DMR being a Mark 13 SPR. Next is we have MST Alpha 1-2, codenamed Goat Killers. Goat Killers are a small group but are still considered effective in comparison to other Alpha 1 elements as a result of training and small unit tactics. Recently founded by the incumbent Global Director South, many of its personnel are known to have a personal connection with members of the Southern Experimentation League. According to operational notes, many of the security details are known to be incapable of communicating outside of a few members, although this is unclear if this is a result of protocol or physical deformities presented amongst its members. As per the group's emblem, it utilizes the well-known mythos of the Chupacabra which is culturally significant throughout the Latin Americas. Unit composition consists of the following, Bodyguards, 10 personnel, Overwatch, 4 personnel, Standard Rifle, AKM, Other Equipment, M84 Stun Grenade, Noise Grenades, and Fragmentation Grenades. 
Auf Beruf auf den europäischen Kontinent, MST Alpha 1-3, Kodename Schroding aus Katze. Mit einem Umlaut, auch ich kann sprechen auf Deutsch, aber so, so Englisch. Anywho, Codename Schrodinger's Cat, members of this unit are selected from Hotel 1 due to their expertise in various areas of protection and operational capabilities. When it comes to the more high-powered weaponry, members who are specifically assigned to the eldest member of Global Director West are the only ones authorized to use them, though it is unclear for this specific reason. The patch that bears the Black Cat and the Crescent Moon is a reference to Europe's dark history with the supernatural, and in addition to the symbolism is the quantum physics paradox which is the Schrodinger Cat experiment as reflected by the unit's name. Unit composition consists of the following. Bodyguards consist of 10 personnel, Overwatch consists of 2 personnel, and the standard rifle being the L85A3S80 with the sniper rifle being the Accuracy International AWM. MST Alpha 14, codename Black Witch. Black Witch are the unit that closely acts as not only the security apparatus for Global Director East, but also acts as the close confidants to them. Members are selected based on their high intelligence, inquisitiveness, and curiosity with extensive knowledge in the occult and anomalous mechanisms. Black Witch utilizes a combination of armaments and equipment available within the Authority. However, much like Alpha 11 Double Hand, who uses an AR platform based in North America, they utilize the AK platform in combination with a simple sidearm along with the specialized tools for detection of novice activity, such as the Videric PI sensor brain implants, the coherency scale detectors, or the Mimotic Scalar Ocular Visualizers? I'm sorry, I have not seen the roster lately. <laughs> Augmentation is available to certain members who may request limited surgical augmentations on their perception and combat abilities, but most forms of brain implants are not recommended due to corruptive potential. The emblem that bears the Black Witch unit is a house with legs, an obvious reference to the Russian folklore of Baba Yaga. Unit composition consists of the following. Bodyguards, 3 personnel. Technicians, 1 personnel. Monitor, 2 personnel. Overwatch, 3 personnel the standard rifle being the SLR-106CR, and the standard monitor sensor equipment being the PI sensor Mark VI. Moving into the African plane, Alpha-15, codenamed Zulu Forces. Historically, the unit's origins stem from earlier endeavors of creating authority foothold within mid-century Africa that have undergone several significant structural changes. Today, Zulu forces consist of personnel selected from across the Authority's pool of decorated, protectorate, and deputy ASF officers for their occupational proficiency that is united in their fierce loyalty towards Africa Command. The unit maintains a strict organization, operating several mobile camps across the African continent and consists of a primary strike force led by joint commanders and assisted by technical, intelligence, and adaptive medical services, respectively. Despite this, Zulu forces are the least technologically advanced unit of MST Alpha 1, often utilizing standard heavy artillery with minimal body augmentations and special recognized equipment. Although there have been several discussions for independent new corp contracts for stealthware and lightweight body armor. The emblem of Zulu forces is quite evident as it utilizes a slash pattern and a Zulu shield, these representing the earlier onsets of authority present within Africa particularly Shaka Zulu and the Authority Extraterrestrial Defense Force. Unit composition consists of the following. Bodyguards, 6 personnel. Overwatch, 2 personnel. Logistics slash ACI support, 4 personnel. Comms and technical support, 2 personnel. Medical support, 4 personnel. The standard rifle being the FNFAL, and the other equipment being APY all-terrain tanks, NOBX3 night vision goggles, a TMK-MO medical operator kit. Onto the Middle East, we have Alpha-16, codename Genie's Wishes. Funded and equipped by the incumbent Global Director Eurasia, Genie's Wishes utilizes armaments and assets now readily available to protection personnel such as the ECH cannon eye augmentations, composite metal foam vest, and the experimental assault rifles such as the Zypher-077 with a grand variety of additional equipment up to personnel request. Genie's Wishes also possesses a select group of ACI and comms personnel that may aid Global Director Eurasia with non-physical form of attacks to his person or authority-owned businesses. The emblem presented for Genie's Wishes shows a paranatural entity that is known as the Jinn in Arabic culture along with the lamp, referencing the Genie in the Lamp folklore. 
Unit composition consists of the following. Bodyguards, 6 personnel. ACI comm support, 4 personnel. The standard rifle being the Zypher-077. And experimental equipment such as the Wagner Phillips Stabilizer and deployable personal shield. Moving further to the east of Asia, we have the land of the rising sun. Alpha-17, codenamed Imperial Forces. Shortly founded following the formation of Asia Command in the mid-late 1960s, Imperial Forces has since been viewed as one of many displays of Japanese monopoly that the Global Director of Asia over the seat of power went largely unquestioned due to the political turmoil within the region during the Cold War. With many of the predecessors that sat before Global Director Asia almost universally leaned to the Regional Command for support. The administrative directors from Saitama are almost synonymously regarded as the management staff for Global Director Asia in general, which is the, this very reason that when the need for the establishment for an Alpha-1 element for Asia Command came, Imperial forces were created as a result. Members of this unit are selected by the Global Director Asia himself, but also can be appointed by the regional staff and always has to have a military background or experience serving similar duties such as MSTs and ASFs. In terms of structure, the Imperial Forces is divided into two groups. A bodyguard unit of at least four personnel always in the presence of GD Asia as he transports across facilities and a rapid deployment unit that can be deployed at any given location for any task, be it defending GD Asia or strike down an enemy. Over time, however, controversies piled over the Imperial Forces, being implicated in a series of misconducts, such as the intervention in civil conflicts and suspected assassination attempts of several major figures across East Asia. Pending investigation may result in major restructuring and reprimanding of involved individuals. Reflecting on their unit's patches, it consists of a tori and the Red Rising Sun as reference to Japanese culture as a whole. Unit composition consists of the following. Bodyguards, four personnel, Deployment Forces, 16 Personnel, Standard Rifle, the Hawa Type 20, and Transportation consisting of the Boeing CH-47 Chinook, the Type 96 Armor Personnel Carrier, and a Mitsubishi Type 73 Light Truck. And ito nas Tagalog sa Las Piñas. <laughs> I mean, um, moving into Southeast Asia, we have Alpha 18, codename Davy Jones. Davy Jones works closely alongside the Authority Naval Force to secure a variety of blue water and green water naval vessels to escort Global Director Oceanic and Oceacom forces to several sites and containment facilities across Oceana. Due to Global Director Oceana's responsibilities, the security apparatus requires an adaptable strategy to protect against non-state actors, armed pirates, and eco-terrorist groups operating in Oceana. An American-class amphibious assault ship therefore serves as a mobile headquarters and an armed military vessel for Oshakam and Davy Jones. The emblem for Davy Jones symbolizes a ship through a storm, which is a reference to the vast ocean with the Pacific Islands in the Southeast Asian region, but also a nod to Davy Jones. Unit composition consists of the following. Bodyguards, 8 personnel. Logistic support, 11 personnel. The standard rifle being the UDMC PVAR rifle the watercraft, America-class amphibious assault ship, and finally, the UAV being the X-Craft Enterprise's Valkyrie. And finally, moving towards the coldest region of our planet, we have Alpha-19, codenamed Drake's Expedition. Traditionally, consisting of 10 members and selected by the Global Director Antarctica, it is a mix of ASF and Protectorate personnel with at least 5 years of experience in the Antarctic conflict and logistical intuition, chosen for the history and loyalty to Global Director Antarctica. Reflected in the unit's patch, Drake's expedition and Global Director Antarctica are heavily associated with the cosmos and the authority space presence as the ultimate international territory to all of mankind. It is tradition for each new Global Director Antarctica to be proclaimed as the protector for the Sun and the Solar System, with each member of Drake's expedition ordained as the protector for one of the eight planets, Pluto and the Moon, during the Director's ceremonial first meeting of the office cycle. Each member of Drake's expedition is codenamed by the celestial body they represent, as followed by in the unit composition that consists of bodyguards, three personnel, that being Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Logistics Support, 2 Personnel, Mercury and Pluto. Logistics, 2 Personnel, that being Mars and Venus. Comms and Technical Support, 2 Personnel, being the Earth and the Moon. And finally, Medical Support, with 1 Personnel being Neptune. And that is all of the 9 elements of MST Alpha-1 that protect the regional representatives of the Directorate. 
The design and lore behind these units are unique to their own, giving a sense of the story of the people protecting our overlord emperors. And I do wonder who created these patches as he, or she, diversity is our policy, is totally a cool person. But for now, I'll pass on the question to you. Which patch do you think is the coolest and why? Please let me know your thoughts down below as I'll be reading them. And thank you so much for watching my channel. Yes. <laughs> Pearson out.